new Claude AI browser agent automate anything. Today I'm going to show you Claude's new browser agent that can control your computer. This thing is insane, it can click buttons, fill forms and browse websites for you. I'm testing it live so you can see what actually works and what breaks, let's go. All right, so Claude dropped something big. They released computer use. This means Claude can now control your browser like a real person. It can see your screen, move your mouse and click things. This is not like those basic automation tools. This is AI that actually understands what it's looking at and makes decisions in real time. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. And here's why this matters. Every single day, you probably do the same boring tasks on your computer, filling out forms, copying data between websites, checking multiple sites for information, updating spreadsheets, all that stuff takes time. What if AI could just do it for you? That's what we're testing today. So when I saw Claude could control a browser, I knew I had to test it. Let me show you how this actually works. Claude's computer use feature lets the AI interact with your computer. It can see what's on your screen. It can move the mouse. It can type. It can click buttons. Basically anything you can do, Claude can try to do. The keyword is try because this technology is new and we're going to see where it works and where it falls apart. Here's what makes this different from other automation tools. Normal automation follows exact rules. If this, then that. But Claude actually sees and thinks. It looks at a web page like you would. It figures out where the buttons are. It reads the text. It adapts if something changes. That's huge. So let's talk about real use cases. Imagine you run a business like the AI Profit Boardroom. You need to check competitor websites every week. You need to see what content they're posting, what their prices are, what features they're adding. Normally, you'd spend an hour clicking through sites and taking notes. With Claude's browser agent, you could tell it to check five competitor sites, grab their pricing, and put it in a spreadsheet. Done. Well, let's say you're launching a new program. You need to fill out forms on 10 different directories, name, email, description, category, website. Each one takes five minutes. That's almost an hour of your time. Claude could do all 10 while you focus on actually growing your business. That's the dream. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like new Claude, AI browser, agent. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Here's another one. You're doing research for a new AI automation guide. You need to check 20 different AI tools, see what features they have, what their pricing looks like, take screenshots, Normally that's hours of work. Claude could browse each site, grab the key info and compile it for you. Imagine how much time that saves. Now let me be clear about something. This technology is not perfect yet. Claude themselves say it's still in beta, which means sometimes it's going to mess up. Sometimes it won't understand what you want. Sometimes it'll click the wrong thing. That's okay. We're at the beginning of something massive here. This is going to get better fast. I want to show you exactly how to set this up. First, you need access to Claude's API. This feature isn't in the regular chat interface yet. You have to use the API. If you're not technical, don't worry. There are tools being built right now that make this easy. But for now, you need some basic setup. Once you have API access, you give Claude a task. Be specific. Don't just say, go to this website, tell it exactly what you want. Go to this website, find the pricing page, take a screenshot and save the prices to a file. The more specific you are, the better it works. Think of it like giving instructions to a new employee, clear steps, get better results. Here's where it gets interesting. Claude can handle multiple steps. You can say, go to site one, grab this info, then go to site two, compare it, then put everything in a document. It can chain actions together. That's when automation gets powerful because most tasks aren't just one step, they're a whole process. Let me give you a real example from growing an online community. Let's say you wanna research what topics are trending in AI automation. You could tell Claude to go to Reddit, check the top posts, in AI communities, grab the titles and upvote counts, then go to Twitter, check trending AI hashtags and compile everything into a report. That's market research done in minutes instead of hours. Or imagine you're building a new landing page for the AI profit boardroom. You wanna see what the best converting landing pages look like. You could have Claude visit 10 high performing landing pages, take screenshots of each section, note what headlines they use, what benefits they highlight, 
and how they structure their call to action, then you have a research file you can use to build something better. This is the kind of stuff that normally takes half a day. With browser automation, it takes minutes and you can run it while you're doing other things. That's leverage. Now let's talk about the limitations because they're important. First, this doesn't work on every website. Some sites have security that blocks bots. Some sites change their layout constantly. Claude might get confused. That's normal. You have to test and see what works. Second, speed. Claude is not instant. It has to look at the screen, think about what to do, then act. This takes a few seconds each step. So a task that takes you two minutes might take Claude five minutes. But here's the thing. You're not sitting there doing it. Claude is. So you get those five minutes back to do something that actually grows your business. Third, errors. Sometimes Claude will misunderstand. It might click the wrong button. It might not find what you're looking for. When that happens, you need to give it better instructions, be more specific, add more context. This is a skill you develop over time. Here's what I'm excited about. This technology is going to get way better. Right now it's version one. In six months, it'll be faster, smarter, and more reliable. In a year, this could handle complex workflows that take you hours. We're seeing the beginning of true AI automation. Think about what this means for your business. Every manual task you do is time you're not spending on growth, not spending on strategy, not spending on the things that actually matter. If you can automate even 20% of your daily tasks, that's 10 hours back in your week. That's massive. For the AI Profit Boardroom community, tools like this are game changers. We focus on using AI to scale businesses, to get more customers, to save time. Browser automation fits right into that because the businesses that adopt this stuff early are the ones that get ahead. While everyone else is still doing things manually, you're automating and moving faster. Let me show you how to think about this. Make a list of every task you do on a computer that's repetitive, checking sites, filling forms, copying data, anything you do more than once a week. Those are automation opportunities. Start with the simplest one. Test if Claude can do it. If it works, you just saved yourself time every single week. If it doesn't, try the next one. The key is to start simple. Don't try to automate your entire business on day one. Pick one task, test it, learn how to give good instructions, then move to the next task, build your automation stack piece by piece. That's how you actually make this work. Here's something most people miss. Automation isn't just about saving time. It's about consistency. When you do a task manually, you might forget a step. You might do it differently each time. When AI does it, it does it the same way every time. That's valuable, especially for things like data collection or reporting. Let's talk about what's coming next, because browser automation is just the start. Soon, AI will be able to control multiple applications at once. It will move data between your email, your CRM, your spreadsheets, your calendar, all automatically. We're heading toward a world where AI handles all the boring stuff and you just focus on the creative work. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like New Claude, AI Browser Agent. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab.